Welcome back, trainers, and a lot of you were requesting to bring back Shadow Malwell, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video here. Now, we're going to be pairing it up with Shadow Venusaur, as well as Azumarill. I'm going to have the moves on the side, as well as the IV, so you can go ahead and check that out. This Shadow Malwell, best buddy, equipped, is actually going to be at $14.99. I just do not have it equipped during recording their IVs here. So, yeah, we're going to be weak to fire here. We do have a zoom roll for the coverage. With the 30-second switch timer, we should be able to maneuver our way around situations. And that was a very nice catch with the Sludge Bomb on the Sableye, by the way. And also, Alola Marowak is going to be taking a lot of damage from the Frenzy Plant from Shadow Venusaur. So we should be able to work around that, possibly. But with that said, I'm very excited to bring you these battles here. We haven't used Shadow Mawile in quite some time. The meta is shifted a little bit and it is making it a little bit difficult to use it. So let's see what we can do. And we're just going to be pairing it up with this Alteria for this specific battle here. After this, we're going to be swapping out and putting in a Zoomerol here because I just found it a little bit more comfortable using a Zoomerol. So uh, the quick moves on the Galarian Stunfisk are doing basically nothing. We make a simultaneous swap here. They have no more shields. We have one left. We're going to go ahead and use that. Shielding up a Sludge Bomb here. Building up to Sludge Bomb ourselves, and then going ahead and taking them out. Almost. Ooh, this is actually kind of good. We're able to farm a little bit extra. In comes the Galarian Stunfisk. We actually throw in our Altaria because, well, they are going to have to throw a charge move because the quick move is not doing anything here. We could have stayed there, but I just thought it was a little entertaining even to throw in the Mawwow to absorb the energy even further. And then Venusaur is going to come in and just Vine Whip that Galarian Stunfisk, and we take the win. Looking good. Moving it on here, so I found that uh, our Venusaur and Sableye team is starting to pick up some steam, even by some other people making videos. That's awesome. And now we're going to go ahead and throw our Sludge Bomb. We have a mirror match here. Getting that through, fantastic. And we're actually going to throw in our Sableye to catch their charge move, hoping for a Frenzy Plant. And there it is. They were going to bait. And then swapping into Machamp to really put on the pressure with that counter damage as well as farming down. That thing does hit hard. Azumarill does need to look out for the rock side, and it's going to be doing a lot of damage here. We're going to go ahead and let it go through, and it is that rock slide. And I don't remember if we shield this or let it go. We're calling it another rock slide, but we're still going to just allow it to go through. And then farming down that Machamp, bringing back the Venusaur here. Both of us still holding on to two shields, coming back in here with that Venusaur. Now, since they did enter back in with Venusaur, I'm thinking there's something back there weak to Venusaur itself. So we are absolutely going to shield this. There's no reason why we shouldn't. So that's great. And we're going to swap into our Zoomerol and take out this thing with our Ice Beam before they could do any more damage or farm anymore. Shielding it up. Man, what it is something is definitely back there that they do not want us to have our Venusaur to encounter here. So we're going to go ahead and shield this up. It is a Frenzy Plant Bait and it is a Bastodon. Now, I don't know how if we're going to be able to pull this off, but let's see. So going for the Frenzy plant, farming a little bit of extra here, going for another Frenzy. And will we? Oh, man, if we can get to a Frenzy plant before them. Wow. Venusaur Shadow pulling it off, taking everything out, including that Bastodon. Very nice. Let's keep it moving here, folks. If you do enjoy my videos, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help me out quite a bit. And we're met with a great lead. They're going to be swapping into an Alola Ninetales. So we're going to go ahead and swap into that Ninetales here. Now, I know this is the showcase of uh, Mawile Shadow, but, you know, Venusaur just has to always take the spotlight here. But Mawile is going to be pulling off some clutch wins. So we have it up against the Ninetales. This is fantastic. We're going to let everything go through. We resist it all. It's still going to, you know, do some decent damage, but we're perfectly fine taking that hit. They're swapping back into Politoed, in which we're going to go ahead and go right into our Venusaur. We need to look out for Blizzard, Earthquake as well. Blizzard will one-shot us. Earthquake, I think it'll bring us low. I'm not 100% sure, but we're calling it correctly, so that's great. They're coming back in with their uh, Alolan Ninetales. We're swapping into Mawile to take them out. I'm getting to a power-up punch here. Maybe could have made it to Iron Head, but we're not going to risk it. They're going to farm us down here. That's fine. And I think we may go in here with our Zoom World. Yeah, because what we want to do now is not use any shields. We're going to kind of be forced to use shields here, like that Earthquake on our Venusaur. So that's perfect. They have a Whimsicott in the back, and this is basically a win for us. Since we have so much energy, we're going to go ahead and throw that there. There's no more shields. In comes Politoed, and this was very unnecessary to throw this Frenzy Plant. But we're going to do it anyways and take the win with a shield left. Looking good. Mawile is doing some work. 
We already know Venusaur is fantastic. Let's get it. Shadow. All right. Now, this is a horrible lead because of confusion. I'm going to gain a little bit of energy and swap into our Mawile. They're going into Scrafty, and this is already looking like a loss. But we're going to hold our guns here and see if we're going to be able to pull this off. And I'm expecting a power-up punch. They're just going to vamp up their attack at this point and counter us down. Exa oh, they're going for another one here, just in case we we're able to get off another power-up punch, I would assume. Just finishing us off. So they have an attack plus two at this point going in with Venusaur. We don't want to take a, a foul play, obviously, because that is going to KO at this point with the uh, attack buffed. Shielding it up, using our first shield. They have two left as well, expecting that uh, Hypno to come back in here. We're going to swap immediately into Azumarill after this. They're letting it go through. Oh, or not. We're putting on the pressure with the Venusaur. Okay, okay. They didn't want to shield up, expecting a shield now, though they're so low. Let's see what they have in the back. It is going to be an Umbreon. So there is hope for us here. I know I said I thought that battle wasn't looking so hot, but it looks like we're going to be able to possibly pull off a win here. Venusaur has a little bit of health left. It can do something still. Can't take a confusion because, well, it's just going to go down instantly, obviously. Um, when do they want to use that shield? I'm sure they want to preserve that health because the Hypno is so low. So going for a play rough, is that really what I want to do here? Ice Beam probably would have been a better idea. Yeah. And then we're... Oh, that was so good. Catching a charge move with the Venusaur. Let's go. Thunder Punch. They didn't hit any bubbles. Getting a little bit of extra farm. Going in here with Azumarill. What were we going to do? We're going to farm it down. Hopefully able to get to a play rough right before they're able to get to a... Oh, last resort. That was such a close battle. Good game. It looked like, you know, we were going to lose already, but we really tried to pull that one off and had a good battle in the process. Good game. On to our next opponent here. We're going to be met with a Roserade. Now, this is not good for us because of Weather Ball. So we're swapping into Mawile here. And this is still not good because of the Weather Ball. But at least we're going to be doing a lot of damage with our quick move. They're swapping into Pelipper. Now, I know this is not very effective because of the water typing, but hear me out. Take a look at the damage. It's better than a power-up punch. They're letting it go through, and we're doing some great damage. Bringing them below half here with not very effective. Up against the Toilet Bird. All right, so we're just going to keep going. And we're just going to throw a power-up punch at this time because we just want to do a little bit of damage here. And we're getting a shield out of them from the Toilet Bird. Fantastic. And they're going to take us out here. We still have one shield. I want to go in here and farm down with Venusaur. Expecting a Weather Ball. Not very effective. It is still going to hurt because just Shadow Venusaur. They're swapping into an Umbreon here. And I'm going to go ahead and go right into my Azumarill. This is looking like we're going to be able to pull this one off here, folks. Let's see what we have. Obviously, we're going to hit by a last resort. Now we have to think about the timer. We're still working with that 30 seconds here. So they could catch. We need to be very careful. They're going back into that Rosa Ray. We're going to go right back into our Venusaur here and throwing the Frenzy Plant because that's enough to KO. But they're going to shield it up. Well, I well, I think it would be enough to KO because it's going to be double resisted. So they're, we're letting them take us out here, going in with our Azumarill because they have no more shields and going to go ahead and go for the Ice Beam here. And we're in a pretty good position because we still have a shield left. Now, again, we have to, you know, try to remember not to try to catch it or them throwing a, to try to catch an Ice Beam or a Play Rough here. So we're just going to go ahead and go for it, looking good. And we basically have this in the bag. In comes Pelipper. We still have a shield left. That's why I'm saying that this is in the bag. Simply shielding this up here. Can we get to an Ice Beam? Or we're just going to simply bubble it down. Let's go. All right, on to the next battle here. Good or bad lead? Let's see. And, oh, this is great. This is a horrible lead. Horrible. But I want you to see uh, the, the fact that the Shadow Venusaur doesn't care what you are. Unless you're a Skarmory. Or, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, so, we're going to shield up the Shadow Bone. We're getting no shields out of them, but bringing them very low. We have a shield preserving the Venusaur because if they have a fire, more than likely that's, you know, to protect them from fighting or grass types. So they're swapping into a Sableye or potentially a Fairy type. As you can see, Sableye's weakness is Fairy. Going for an Ice Beam, getting a shield out of them. Beautiful. And uh, do we call this a return here? Nope. Foul play, yeah, exactly. And now building up a little bit of extra energy and going for the foul play. If they want to use two shields, by all means, be my guest. And they do. Fantastic. We're going to go ahead and swap into our Venusaur instantly here. And they're surprisingly going into the Galarian Stunfisk. Uh, you think they will go into the Alolan Marowak to farm us down, but this works perfectly fine for me here. But we are in a pretty tight situation. So we have Mawile, and then we also have the Marowak that we need to worry about. But uh, I think we will be okay, maybe. Letting this Rock Slide go through. 
In comes the Marowak, and we're just swapping instantly, taking him out with Bubble with our Azumarill. Beautiful. In comes the Sableye. We're able to... We could have gotten off a of play rough. Maybe. We had it, but you, you, you just because you have it, you need like a tad more energy to pull it off. And uh, that's why we went for the Ice Beam there. Shielding up that charge move and taking out that Sableye and then taking out the Galarian Stunfist with the Mawile. Cleaning up house at the end for us. Very nice. Moving it on to our next battle here. Having a blast with this thing. Didn't think it would perform as well, but Shadow Mawile is still very good and is still meta wrecker. Alright, so in our next battle here, we're up against a Galarian Stunfisk lead with our Venusaur. We're leading with Venusaur the entire time. And... Eh, you know, this is fine. We got the call rock side, depending upon how much they, they built up. And that was an earthquake, in fact. So good call on our end. And as much as I would have loved to farm down, I'm pretty, you know, we can because they'll go for a rock side. We'll survive. But uh, let's just go ahead and take them out here. They have a wiggly tough in the back. Wow. I'm calling a Azumarill back there. Maybe. We'll see. That's going to be a kind of a weak team to Venusaur, right? So we're swapping, and it's a Zoomerol. Yes. All right, so this is great. I don't mind Mawile up against it because Iron Head still hurts it because of the fairy typing. Water typing is making it neutral, though. And, of course, a Zoomerol is just a tank, right? So we're going to go ahead and let this Ice Beam go through. Fine. That works fine enough for me. We're going to swap into our Zoomerol here thanks to the short switch timer here. And, uh, unfortunately, it's not a catch of an Ice Beam. And they're coming back in with Wigglytuff. We're going to go ahead and throw Ice Beam here to see if we can get that shield out of them. Nope, but that's good enough for me because now we're leaving it with enough health to potentially take it out or farm it down. And there we go. We're going to go in with Venusaur. Beautiful. And now they're not looking too hot here. Definitely going to get that last shield. And we're going to have to figure this out with our two Pokemon. They're going to be able to farm us and have a decent amount of uh, farm there. And there are two Pokemon with no health. Go in it with Mawile and Power Up Punching. This is getting pretty down to the wire here, folks. And down goes Mawile. It has like two HP. In comes our Azumarill here. If they have two Ice Beams, I doubt. No, they don't. They can't. And down they go. We win with like two HP and an Azumarill. Very nice. Let's see what we have for our next opponent here. What are we going to be met with in the lead at a Chestnut? They definitely want to evacuate, and they're going into a Galvantula, and we're going to go right into our Mawile. We love this matchup here. Discharge is going to hurt, but it's not going to lower our attack, and we're going to be able to take them out unless they do shield this power-up punch, which if they do, that's perfectly fine. They're letting it go through, and we're taking them out, surviving with barely any HP, which is fantastic. In comes Talonflame, and as soon as they see my Azumarill, they say, I'm good and GG's. <laughs> All right. So I'm loving this thing. I think I'm going to start playing some more greatly. Although I do want to go back into Master Open and uh, just have a little fun. I know it's nuts over there. So we're met with a Meganium. Very interesting. We need to look out for Earthquake. That will take us out potentially. Maybe survive just barely. But they're going to be throwing in an Azumarill to absorb this Frenzy Plant, which sounds good to me. And what we're going to do here is getting a little bit more energy and swap into our Azumarill. And we're looking pretty, pretty, pretty good here, folks. So we can let everything they're going to throw at us go through, expecting them to swap it sometime. So we need to kind of keep in mind our our throws and them trying to catch it. But they have a Meganium in the back and we still have a full Mawile. So we're, we pretty much have won this here, letting this go through and coming back in here with the Meganium. We do have an Ice Beam, but we are going to let this go through. I know that seems a little crazy, but we're in a very comfortable winning position here. So we're simply going to go in here with uh, Mawile and really start vamping this up and dedicate the shields to it right here. And we should be perfectly fine getting a shield out of them because, well, now's the time to start using those shields here. Even if it's a power up punch, going for a Frenzy Plant Bait, swapping into a Hypno is what they have in the bag. Now, this is getting a little bit interesting here, folks. We're building up energy to give them the illusion we're going for an Iron Head. And we're getting a shield out of them. That is super good. So I think we definitely want to shield up our Mawile here. And can we get to it? They're swapping and trying to catch something potentially. But we're just going to go ahead and go for the power up punch on them. And then swap into our Venusaur here. Getting to the Frenzy Plant. This is looking pretty good. And we're simply going to be able to Vine Whip down that Hypno. And there we go. Venusaur, Shadow, Vine Whipping down a Shadow Hypno with Confusion. Let's get it. Alrighty, on to our next opponent. What are we going to be met with? An Umbreon, and I like this matchup. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. Uh, sure, we're going to be taking some pretty good damage from it, but at the same time, we're dishing it out right back. So they're using a shield right off the bat. We have an Azumarill on the back, as well as a Mawile that can handle this thing. It has Dark Pulse. That's a pretty nice sneaky surprise. Now, very quickly here, my thoughts on Dark Pulse over Foul Play. 
Dark Pulse is going to require a little bit more energy, but uh, at the same time, you're going to be able to surprise your opponents with a little bit more damage. Maybe they were expecting to take a specific amount and surviving, but if you hit them with that harder hitting Dark Pulse, they're going to go down potentially and throw off their game. You know, it, it, it's not horrible. It's not like, oh, they have a Dark Pulse. They don't know what they're doing now. <laughs> Dark Pulse is still good. Anyways, we're up against Hypno here, and we're going to go ahead and let this Thunder Punch go through. Super effective, but really not too, too threatening here. So we're just going to keep letting those go through here and preserving our last shield. We're going to go ahead and go for the play rough, the harder hitting stab move here. As they're not going to maybe be obligated to use both shields, but they do. So we're going to go ahead and swap. And they have a Venusaur in the back. Oh boy, if I could, I would rub my hands together and, you know, have that bird face look up against the window. But we're just going to go ahead and keep on tapping the screen here and farming them down. No more shields. And we're just going to go straight for the Iron Head and just take the win with the Mawile here. Looking good. And in comes Hypno. We swapped the catch. Did you do you like that clean catch? Unnecessary. We didn't have to, but we actually, yeah, we didn't have to, but we did. But you know, so we're just gonna go ahead and go for the power punch. Not quite enough to take him out, but we don't need to worry about that. One fire fang finishes him off. Great game. Moving it on to our next opponent here. What are we gonna be met with? It is gonna be a victory bell shadow. When is there not a shadow victory bell being used? Uh, pretty much all the time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bait with the Frenzy Plant here, and we get a shield out of them. That's beautiful. Now, this time around, I usually shield up the uh, Victory Bell, but we're going to let it go through, calling the Acid Spray. Oh, right, saving a shield, and we're going to go ahead and go straight for the Sludge Bomb here. Taking them out and surviving this this lead matchup, which is great. In comes Metacham to farm us, which I don't really care because we have an Azumarill. Beautiful. Psychic is going to hurt us, but it's still not going to be as threatening as... Uh, I don't know, something that's super effective in general to Azumarill. They're going to be swapping into their own Azumarill, and we're going to go ahead and go play rough, and I think at this point we want to swap into Mawile. Seems a little crazy, right? But we definitely don't want to be matched up against uh, the Metacham with the uh, Mawile here. It's going to be a little bit more of a threatening matchup, and they're swapping to catch the charge, but we're going to throw Iron Head here. Oh, right. Look at that damage. And going in with our Azumarill to simply catch their charge move, letting it go. And it is a power-up punch. So I'm going to be expecting a Psychic here after this, which is going to be vamped up. We're going to absolutely use a shield. Time is ticking, and we're going to go ahead and do that. They swap into their Azumarill. We're going to go ahead and throw Play Rough, and this battle is just falling right into our lap. We're getting a shield out of them, which is fine. They cannot KO us at this range here. Do believe we actually let this one go through as well. It is a play rough, and we're still going to be comfortable to survive this. Going for the play rough here, and we're looking great. We're looking real good. Now we're going to swap, and they're going to swap as well, taking them out. And I think we just go for the power of punch in the mall while it's cleaning up house. If you did enjoy this video, folks, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you need to turn notifications on. I'll be keeping you up to date on everything Pokemon Go. Thanks for watching, and take care.